Western Michigan and Omaha squared off in a two-game weekend series at Lawson Ice Arena in the NCHC last Friday and Saturday night. In Game 1 on Friday, the Broncos scored three quick goals midway through the first period and opened up a 6-0 lead on Cole Gallant's second goal of the night in the third period. The Broncos would eventually go on to win Friday 7-2 over the Mavericks. Then on Saturday, looking for a weekend sweep, the Broncos jumped out to a 1-0 lead on an Austin Ruschoff first period goal. But Omaha scored three first period goals and went on to win 4-2. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Andy Murray joins me. We talk Western Michigan hockey on this week's Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. When home improvements are in your future, you should call BlackBerry. For more than 35 years, BlackBerry has provided windows, roofing, siding, and sunrooms with thousands of satisfied customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, you can get 10 of our best-selling, high-performance double-hung windows for only $48.60 installed. 18 months no interest and $48.60 installed. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you. Through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. And Conrad comes up with a puck, skates it in on the left side. Toe drag, shoots and scores! Oh, Conrad upstairs over Weininger. 1-0 Western Michigan. Cook got the puck as he came out of the box, carried it in. Little hesitation and then snapped it under the box. Senior Colt Conrad gets on the board in the first period. That opened the floodgates for the Broncos on Friday night as they took on the Omaha Mavericks in game one of a weekend series. And the goals came fast and furious there, Andy, on Friday night for the Broncos. Got off to a great start, uh, Robin. It was a big goal by Colt Conrad. We had to kill a couple of penalties early in the game, and Colt stepped out of the penalty box, and he's got a great shot. And, Put it in that top corner. We just got to get him shooting it more like that. And uh, he's a quality player, and that was a great goal. That was his third goal of the year, and uh, looking for some more offense out of those guys. And uh, I'll tell you what, everybody kind of chipped in on Friday night as Western Michigan was back home. First of all, it was great to be back at Lawson Ice Arena. We've been on a quite an extended road period there, but uh, great to be back home. Excited to play Nebraska Omaha. There's uh, Buster there, and you know, our group got it going. We had a lot of shots, created a lot of turnovers limited them to under 20 shots in the hockey game and really had a lot of great puck possession on Friday night. Broncos uh, with Trevor Gorsuch in goal. You've kind of been searching for the right answer there and he certainly played well in this game. We thought Trevor was real solid actually in both games, Robin. Even though we lost the one on Saturday, he made some big saves for us and uh, you know that's the type of goaltending we need to be successful and our guys are capable of doing it. And again, it's part of the team in front of them making sure that they're doing the things that they need to do. It's a real big first period for the Broncos. You outshot them 12 to four in that first period. And uh, there's uh, that first goal of the night by Colt Conrad. He snapped it under the crossbar. Well, Colt's just a quality player. And when he's shooting it like that and using his quickness, he's real tough to contain. Great, great play. 
Second goal scored by Austin Ruschoff, and here you go again, putting more pressure in the offensive zone. That was Drew Warad almost scored there, and then his line mate comes up and scores. That's uh, Kogalan, uh, who got his uh, first of two on the night. That black unit we call Josh Basol, Drew Warad, and Kogalan had a real effective night, and when Cole's jumping like that and getting the loose pucks, he's got the ability to finish great goal. Cole's a nice young man who played his junior hockey in Omaha, so he knows this Maverick team pretty well. He does very well. From Florida, actually, we've got players from all over North America, and he's part of our Florida content along with Luke Lafia. So you scored three goals within a matter of about two and a half minutes in that first period, opened up a nice lead. That was Lawton Cortinal right there in that rush situation too, Rob, and Lawton had a tremendous night. Uh, his line of Paul Washi and, and Jade McMullen and Lawton was, did a great job. They played against the top unit from Nebraska and had a great night and played real hard on Saturday as well. Let's go back to Lawson Arena between periods. A little uh, ice dancing there and uh, then back to some hockey as the Broncos look to extend that lead. And you do just that as you opened up a 6-0 lead before Omaha got on the board. Lawton Cortinall was able to score one shorthanded right here as he crosses over. And a man down, he snipes one in the top of the net. Just a goal scorer's goal. Real patience on the part of uh, Lawton there made the move. Paul Washi kicked him the puck and then drove through to the net that created the space for Lawton to come across. That, that line was our best line on both nights. Well, you got them to make a goaltender change as uh, Weniger was lifted and uh, you guys went back to work on the uh, backup goalie. Well, again, we, we generated a lot of shots in the hockey game and, you know, uh, an example of Trevor stepping up big there. We blocked a lot of shots, uh, certainly on our penalty kill. Guys were getting in the shooting lanes and taking away any scoring opportunities that they might have. Four to nothing at this point. You were able to add another goal here in the second period. Is Wade Allison back for the Broncos since being injured in January? And watch this move on the backhand, snipes one. Yeah, Wade's, you know, he's got that offensive ability. Great to have him back in the lineup. He's been rehabbing after his knee surgery last January and, and certainly enjoy having him back in our lineup. I know afterward he was excited talking with uh, the uh, press after the game and it was just good to see him back out there and he really makes a difference when he's in the lineup. Well, he's, he's a top level player, no question. There's a reason why the Flyers drafted him in the second round and, and a guy that uh, you know just has to get through the, the bugs of this injury situation so we can get, back, get him back in there on a nightly basis. A couple of big saves here by Trevor Gorsuch. I love the one where he was sitting down and he kind of grabbed it out of the air with a glove. Well, we watched that one on Saturday morning and, and certainly Trevor was there and made that, those big saves when we needed them. All right, Broncos on top here as we go back to Lawson Arena for the third period and the Lunatics. Andy, they were out both nights and uh, they really add to the atmosphere. I mean, it's, it's just great for our recruits when they come in and get a chance to see. This is actually in the pregame warm up here, so not all the build, people are in the building yet, but uh, you know, there's the lunatics in full action and they're intimidating for opposing teams. It's interesting when you go on the NCHC website and they ask the players the question, which is the toughest rink to play in, and a lot of them, and plus the coaches say it's Lawson Arena in Kalamazoo there, so that's a tribute to our fans. How about the pass there from uh, Matias Samuelson across the goal mouth for a goal there by Cole Galan, his second of the game. Yeah, I mean, that was what we call an inside scissor play and just a great play, great play by Matias and Cole Galant went to the net off that far post where he's supposed to be going. Broncos putting more pressure on in the offensive zone and the uh, goaltenders for Omaha, they were really tested in this game and you put 30 shots on goal. Well, and, you know, we actually had a lot blocked too, like our shot attempts were close to 60 in the hockey game there, but their team got in the way of a lot of shots. Drew Warrad, great play there, coming out of the corner and hung on to the puck. And Drew's a young guy that's come in here and surprised everybody with his play early in the season. Showed his patience on that particular goal as he waited and then as he was backpedaling, uh, fired it in. Yeah, no, it was, it was a great goal, the last goal of the hockey game, which, uh, you know, you're a freshman, they're, they're nice whenever you get them. So, Western Michigan takes game one of this weekend's series, seven to two over the Omaha Mavericks. They'll come back for Saturday night's game looking for the sweep. We'll have those highlights next on Bronco Review. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Western's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch out! 
Galesburg Ford. Dunchy for your next car. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first time home buyer or always on the move, Getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. Little Caesars has done it again by giving you one large pizza piled high schedule with five online, delicious meat anytime. toppings. Hot and ready every day now between you can 4 and 8 p.m. An for only with nine bucks. Care teams. You heard me right. Count them. One, two, three, no matter where you are, meat toppings, or what you're up to. Pepperoni, sausage, if you're bacon, a new patient beef, or if you've been here before, order we yours have appointments on our convenient available at locations or near simply you. walk into Little Caesars Find and your pick up your large hot and ready five meat piece for just $9 tonight. Pizza, pizza. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Pick up the most cheese and pepperoni you can fit on a large thin crust pizza for the nation's best price at just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Picked up by the trailer, Samuelson, he shoots and scores! Matias Samuelson, trailing on the play on the right, along the wall, rifled one low and inside the right post. The first pick of the second round this past summer by the Buffalo Sabres, playing for Western Michigan, Matias Samuelson. And he's really coming on, Coach. Well, he's a real mature young man, uh, both in his game and the way that he conducts himself on and off the ice and uh, has been playing extremely well for us early in the season. And you notice it mostly on defense, but he's got some offensive ability as well, as we saw in that goal. I think he's got four or four, five points in the last five games, and uh, that part of his game is going to continue to improve. But he's here to be a shutdown defenseman. It's what the Buffalo Sabres want out of him is that he learns to not learns, but he continues to develop his defensive skills because his offense will come with time. And he's got uh, hockey in the blood there. His uh, dad played for you. Yeah, I, I had the great fortune to coach his dad, Shell, and just a, a great competitor, great person. It brings a smile to my face every day because he's playing with his brother, Lucas Samuelson, here. And Lucas is unquestionably the most improved player on our roster, and he's going to be a regular player here in the near future. But a uh, great family. A great situation, guys that are committed to our program. How about Austin Ruschoff, 6'7", coming down the slot on the goaltender Weninger, and he just shelved it out. Just a great steal. Another player that's come a long way since his early days here. and He's going to be a quality pro in the future. He's learning how to use that big body to his advantage. Andy, you got out to the one nothing lead here on Saturday night looking for the sweep. Uh, we were. You know, we knew that we were going to get the very best from Omaha, that their sense of urgency would be real high. And, you know, when we look at the overall scoring chances in the game, we, we outchanced them. Um, we did a lot of really good things, but we didn't outteam them. I thought they played a solid road game, a great team game, and, and uh, we did some things that were uncharacteristic, turning pucks over and things that, you know, we just can't be doing as a salt team. There you saw. Uh, power play goal that they got where we didn't get in the shooting lane and Trevor Gorsuch was screened. But full credit to Omaha for the victory in this particular night. Uh, we just, we need to be better as a team and I think the players realize that and appreciate that. And yeah, that power play goal got them going, tied the game. They got two more even strength goals late in the first period. Yeah, that, that hurt. Uh, you know, up to that point in the hockey game, they really hadn't had a lot of scoring opportunities. And there's Lawton Courtney, Jay McMullen, a couple of real good players for us on the weekend, Paul Cotter gets a shot there. Uh, you know, we just, uh, again, I, I believe we got out-teamed in that game. There were certain deciding moments in the hockey game. We weren't accountable, and they were. And that's, that's how you win games. All right, Broncos moving the puck here, trying to get back into it. 
in the first period, and their goaltender, Weniger, who was lifted the night before, came back the next night and played well. Give, give them credit, and that's the one thing I said when I shook the hands of their players after the game, is that they played a great team game and were certainly deserving of the victory. Uh, they blocked a lot of shots. Again, we had a lot of shot attempts that were getting blocked, and their team just did the things that they needed to do to be successful. Here's where they came up with two late goals in the first period, and sometimes those late period tallies really come back to well, bite they, you. No question, they hurt us. I mean, you're one you're, you're one game, you're controlling most of the play, and you give up a couple of late goals. And again, that's, that's my responsibility. I'm the coach, you can't let that happen. And when I say we got out-teamed in the hockey game, again, that's my responsibility. And, we're going to continue to work at that and continue to get better. We're, we're early in the season. We're disappointed with our results to this point, but there's a lot of hockey to be played this year. The, the book isn't written on this season just yet. Yeah, you've only played two league series, so you went out to Denver and you almost got a split there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, th thanks for saying that, but almost <laughs> isn't good enough, and uh, we've got to be better. i got to coach better, uh, and our team needs to play better. Let's go back to Lawson Ice Arena. This is second period action in the Saturday night game, and Austin Rushov again getting to the net. He's, he's, he's got a knack for that. No, he's, he's a big body guy. I mean, we did a, some things in practice here last this morning here, for example. And guys were competing hard, but uh, yeah, no, he's a, he's a big body guy that's learned how to move. And you went with Trevor Gorsuch again. He earned another start in the yeah, Saturday game. Yeah, Trevor, Trevor was solid in this game here. The goals that did get by him, I mean, we, we were not in the right positions defensively, didn't box our guys out, and you know, both goals came as a result of rebounds. They were late in the period when we needed to be in better position. Broncos trying to put some pressure on the uh, goal crease there, down three to one in the uh, second period. Then Puck Boy comes out and does his thing, and you guys go right back to work, and there's the goal by Matthias Samuelson, five hole on Winninger. Well, that was early in the third period, and you know, we've, we've cut the lead to three to two at this particular point, we're coming on, and. And, uh, you know, Matias again, jumping up with the play, great vision, great shot, and uh, you know, he's played extremely well for us. But there's a lot of time left. We're leading in the shot count and in the scoring chance count, but, you know, we, we failed to get enough pucks to the net here at the end of the hockey game. And, uh, you know, those errors that you made in the first period come back to you. And you're playing with a pretty young D. you got two freshmen in there playing a lot of hockey, and Jared Kucherik and Matias Sanderson. And, and Mike and Joyo has been in our lineup as well. Quite often we have three freshmen defensemen. I mean, we're a young team overall, Robin. I mean, 16 to 17 of our guys that are in the lineup uh, on, on semi-regular basis are underclassmen. And that's, uh, we've we got a bright future, but uh, the future's right now as far as we're concerned as well. All right, the Broncos fall in this Saturday game 4-2 to two and gain a weekend split with Omaha. Next up, a trip to North Dakota. We'll talk about the Broncos and the Fighting Hawks next on uh, Bronco Review. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Schedule online anytime. Now you can easily schedule an appointment with Ascension Care Teams. No matter where you are or what you're up to. If you're a new patient or if you've been here before, we have appointments available at locations near you. Find your appointment online anytime at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Thank here, grow here. Equal housing life. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, 
the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there. Own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. To center comes Washi. Over the line on the right is Courtnall. Works to the middle, walks in, shoots, scores! Courtnall, short-handed, 4-0 Western Michigan. Stick handling along the blue line. Allison up the left side. Big hit, shoots, scores! Wade Allison, 5-0 Western Michigan. Two juniors scoring goals for the Broncos, Lawton Courtnall and Wade Allison, and uh, two of the upperclassmen on this team. Lawton Courtnall's really, really had a good start to his season. You know, in, in particular, the last four games, uh, Robin, he's taken a real step ahead. And that line of his uh, with Paul Washi and, and Jade McMullen has been real good for us. Uh, you know, as coaches, you always talk about substance versus flash. They're not the flashiest line, but there's a lot of substance there. They've had tough, tough matchup assignments, but they've forced those top lines and the other team to play in the defensive zone where we want to have them. They're competing. They're getting to the loose pucks and you know, creating some scoring chances as well. And, and Paul washi has been dominant in the faceoff circle. And so you got a couple, a junior, a sophomore, and then you got the veteran in Jade McMullen. And he's really helped stabilize those young guys. Yeah, I think you even started those guys on Friday night against the top line of Omaha, and they were out there against them most of the night. Uh, they were out against them bo bo both nights and limited the scoring opportunities and the production. I think uh, Gustafson, uh, their top center, got uh, um, one assist on a power play goal. And the other thing is those two guys, Lawton and Jade in particular, are big penalty killers for you. They are. Uh, you know, Jade and Lawton log a lot of time, and we've got Paul Washi going on the PK as well. And pa Paul is is a guy to have out there because he can win you face-offs. And Paul saw some power play time as well there too. Special teams is a big part of the game, and uh, your penalty kill did a pretty good job this weekend. Your power play, still looking for a little more production Yeah, Coach Grieger's not real happy with our power play <laughs> production. Uh, you know, and again, it's, it's following the guidelines that we give them as coaches, and our team got away from it, and we got to get back to, to being a better overall team and special teams. You know, our penalty kill, for the most part, has been pretty effective, but we're still giving up one goal a game against and you know we lose the hockey game by one goal basically with an empty netter to make it two. All right back on the road now to take on North Dakota. We'll look ahead to this weekend series for the Broncos when we come back to wrap it up on this week's edition of Bronco Review. Introducing Little Caesars Large Hot and Ready Five Meat Feast with five delicious meat toppings. One, two, three, four, five. Including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Only $9 at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing. Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford! Not too far from your next car! The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now with our help, they will. It's time for more. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Let's 
How much did it cost? $5! It's four slices of deep, deep dish and a Pepsi for just $5. Pizza, pizza. Through the legs of DP Atcho. Broncos knock it down at the blue line, stealing his roof shot, and a goal shoot, and scores! Austin Rinshaw, 1 0 Western Michigan. Austin Rushoff with uh, one of his two goals in the weekend series against Omaha. Austin is part of a sophomore class for the Bronco hockey team that has really stepped up its game. Well, that's one of the things that uh, you're hoping for when you go into a season where those freshmen from the previous year that can make that step as sophomores. And, you know, we've had a lot of our sophomores really step up and shown great improvement. They're familiar with our culture, what's expected. They're familiar with the daily rhythm of practice, studying, and getting ready to play games in the weekend. And, you know, they've been a real positive force thus far this season. All right, now the Broncos head to North Dakota to take on the Fighting Hawks. Brad Berry, former Kalamazoo wing defenseman, coaching at his alma mater. I know you and Brad go way back. Yeah, Brad's just a, a, a great man and uh, excited to, to go there and face off against North Dakota. We came away disappointed with our team game here on the weekend in the second game against Omaha. And we're going into a place where it's all about team. And yeah, they call it the Ralph, Ralph Engelstad Arena. And rabid fans there in North Dakota, they love their college hockey. Well, they do, and they travel really well. We just have to make sure when they come to Lawson that they don't sit behind our players' bench. Can't sell them those tickets anymore. But, yeah, my son played it at North Dakota. It's a great spot to play. And, you know, they're every year they're a perennial top team and again this year they've got great goaltending some solid puck moving defensemen and some guys who work extremely hard up front yeah it's a younger team at North Dakota but they get great players that want to go there and and uh, it's a tough place to play but the Broncos have had success there over the years we have and, 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 and Robin you got no choice like you either go and play well there or, or you're, you're going to get beat badly and you know our guys realize that and we've got to go in there and compete battle the match up in our one-on-one -on -one confrontations play smart Stay out of the penalty box and keep our game going north. All right, good luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll take next week off and be back in two weeks for our next Bronco Review Show. We'll have highlights from the Western Michigan football games against both Ball State and Northern Illinois. Coach Murray and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Bronco Review.